We begin our roundup of day three at Le Mosson. After a poor defensive pass intercepted by Morgan Malfitano in the 77th minute, André Pierre Gignac scored the only goal of the game, squeezing his shot under Jeffrey Jordan. It was not a vintage performance by OM, but Daniel Congre's error allowed them to claim a 1 0 victory, while Montpellier slipped into the bottom three. Loic Remy narrowly missed, adding a second in injury time, but OM held on and sit alone a top league with nine points from nine. Against Evian, a focused Mathieu Bastos struck for the second match in a row for Lyon with a blistering free kick from 30 yards to bring his team level. The game finished 1 all, leaving OL second with seven points. Two goals in two matches for Bastos, whose future at Lyon remains uncertain. In Nice, it was the Mikhail Landro show, as the Lille keeper made a series of superb saves to earn his team a point away from home. He kept out Bassetti and Jadeje in the first half. And then in the second half, Renato Chivelli tried his luck from a corner, but Landro held firm. When Eric Boteag's free kick took a deflection off Dimitri Payet, Landro somehow kept it out. Final score 2-2, as in spite of Lille's outstanding keeper, Nice still managed to score their first two goals of the season. Wren took the lead against Bastia with a first league one goal for Roman Alessandrini. After Bastia equalised, Wren went back in front through Jonathan Putrapa after Mervlet Erding's glorious through ball. Bastia drew level again, but Wren had the final word as Jan and Villa's strike glanced off Erding's head to give Wren the win. It ends expulsion during the game came on a busy day for League One's referees with a total of four red cards. There was Elans. There was also Ajaxio captain Jean-Baptiste Pierazzi. And Nancy captain André Louise. Into the 93rd minute between Reims and Sochaux, and with the game heading for a goalless draw, Johan Ramore's free kick rebounded off Sloan Privat and into his own net. A 1 0 win for Reims, their first top flight victory in 30 years. All is not well in Sochaux, meanwhile, with three defeats from three games. There was also victory for one of the revelations of these first few weeks. Toulouse claimed the victory away to Nancy, with Musa Sizoko scoring the game's only goal in the 11th minute. It was a similar story for Saint-Étienne, who finally got their season going with a 4-0 thrashing of Brest. Gabonese international Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang grabbed the brace either side of Roma Hamouma and Joshua Guillevoma. Finally, PSG stalled for the third week in a row at Parc des Princes. Javier Pastore's first half shot was tipped over by Cedric Carrasso. Then, in the second half, Zlatan Ibrahimovic fired just one. In spite of the returns of Thiago Mata and Ibrahimovic, Paris were yet again unable to find the winning formula and remain mired in mid-table.